Marauder. <laughs> you stupid bastard. This just in, 75% of Milk Crate Marauder's listeners are not subscribed. Uh-huh. Subscribe to the channel, you funky bastards. How about smashing that subscribe button? Before I crack you a good one... Cocksucker! Milk Crate Marauder. Craig Gasso <laughs> is here. He's a comedian. Crazy too. I have another story. Yeah. I hear you guys know crazy shit about him. <laughs> yeah. yeah we he called me time. last night and he goes... I want to come in as Kinnison, and then I want to leave. <laughs> he I doesn't want to, want to be Craig Gaines. No, he wants to come in for five minutes, kill, and then leave. We'll take it. <laughs> we'll take it. Has he ever left after five minutes? Never. Never. That guy loves to hear himself talk. <laughs> I know. He, he, Howard, he comes in an hour early before our shows and does a half hour sound check. The sound man looks like he wants to blow his brains out. <laughs> Dude, what was that whole game plan? And he calls me home and I never pick up ever. Really? No, I, I was. I heard him. I, I heard him say. He goes, "Man, it's Craig Gash, eh?" And I and, and I go, "How does I'm not, he have your number?" I was stupid. I gave him my number one time. I don't know. I've never picked up. I've called him a dozen times. He's never picked up. No, I know. I hear. Take and a then, hint. And sometimes he even does his Gary impression. He goes, it's Gary, boss. Pick up. Uh, uh, and I don't pick yeah, up. Yeah, because you got to put in a little thing that says, uh, say who this is. Boop. Yeah. Hey, it's Gary. And then, yeah, he doesn't pick up. And, <laughs> so you want to come in as You never want to come in just as Kennison and then leave. I love I that I think idea. maybe it might be a reaction to every time I come in and I start talking about myself. And you go, who gives a fuck? Just fucking do your own. We don't want to hear <laughs> you. Do Kennison. My God. He goes, you know how David Letterman comes in and he's Letterman the whole time and then he just leaves? Because that's what I'm going to do. And I go, okay. Well, at least call me and say no. No. Uh, no? I don't want to discuss shit ahead of time. No? Bums me out. All that's right. That's what Gary's for. And Gary even says to me, I, I talked to Craig. And, and then Craig goes, hey, I talked to uh, Gary. I told him, I just want to come in as Kinnison. I said to Gary, Craig called me and told me the plan. He goes, what plan? Craig never called me. <laughs> oh. So you didn't talk to Gary? I, it wasn't a plan. I said, hey, what do you think about this? Call me back. No, and I feel good. You want to be Kinnison? <laughs> yeah. Are you going to leave yeah, after do. five minutes? Get a stopwatch. <laughs> and what are you going to do? You're all prepared and then in five you minutes? No, it's yeah, fine. We'll do whatever. You got fine, material fine. or what? Let's talk, let's talk about us traveling together. Uh, do you get Tracy Morgan do first. Do Kinnison doing Craig Gass? Yeah. <laughs> he goes, I don't want to come in. And, and just do my greatest hits. I'll just be Kinnison. <laughs> I don't even. Do you have material as Kinnison? I would love to do Tracy Morgan, but you don't know who Tracy is. He's Tracy, a black comedian, God, black dude so from uh, from Senate Live. Yeah. Who's got? He's like one of the craziest guys. You got to have him. Who on the does show. a Tracy Morgan? I don't even know it. Just so me. I'm the only dude. Is I'm that? the only dude. Yeah, he sounds all black and shit. That is, mm-hmm. That's very funny right that's there. Close. That's crazy. <laughs> I used to write for Weekend Update, and I met him at the show, and and he was always he was just like so non. Sequiturs. Every, every time I, I saw the guy, he invited me to open up for him at the New York Comedy Club. I came down and I did the show with him. He walks me over to the bar, buys me a drink, and uh, and he goes, uh, "So how you feel about this? How you like this?" And I go, "Like what? This comedy club?" And he goes, "No, comedy. How you like it?" And I go, oh, "I love it. It's great. I'm I'm head over heels in love with comedy." He goes, "You gotta be like Bruce Lee in the six foot kick." And I go, what? The what? He goes, you don't know about Bruce Lee and the six foot kick? They say when Bruce Lee kick you, you go back six feet. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's why when people are like, how you living, Tracy? I'm like, I'm six foot kicking it. <laughs> you got a six foot kick your way through life. And he started getting like in my face. And I go, what the fuck are we talking about? I mentioned it to my friend, Kurt Metzger, who's a writer for, he was writing for the Chappelle show at the time. And Kurt goes, dude, I was in a car with Tracy on the West Side Highway. He's driving the car. And I go, oh, did I tell you the Chappelle show got picked up for a second season, man? So uh, that's kind of cool. I should be making some extra money. He said that Tracy got pissed and pulled the car over the side of the road. He goes, God damn, Kurt. The fuck's wrong with you? What are we in right now, Kurt? What are we in? He goes, a car? No, we in show business, Kurt. <laughs> we in show business. How many letters in the word show? And he goes, four. How many letters in the word business? Eight? Don't you forget that shit, Kurt. And he got back on the run. He goes, what the fuck are we talking about? So you never know what he's talking about ever? Never. I saw him a year ago That's in Hollywood. That's exactly how he sounds. Yes. <laughs> I saw him a year ago in Hollywood. I was on a date with a girl. It was my first date with this girl. I mean, if Tracy Morgan would only get bigger, people, this would be your best impression. <laughs> I, see, I see Tracy. St- I walked out of the comedy store, and I'm with this girl, and I did the dumbest fucking move. I see this. Tracy Morgan standing in front of the Hyatt and I looked at this girl and I go hey that's Tracy Morgan you want to go say hi to him I think I'm going to impress this girl we walk over and I go Tracy what's up and he turns around and he's wasted hey what's up and I was like fuck 
uh, Tracy, what's going on? And I go, uh, Tracy, this is Kim. She's visiting from San Diego. And he goes, who? And I go, this is Kim. And he goes, Kim? You gonna suck his dick, Kim? And he wraps his hand around her face and shoves her face out of the way. <laughs> and we were both like, it's he, sounds, he sounds like a funny guy. You know, he's, he's you know, one of the he's funniest. Out of control, yeah. He's one of the he funniest. He never caught on on Saturday Night Live, though. He's, he's, he's one of those guys where I think he sometimes he's being funny, but he doesn't realize he's being funny. Oh. He, I, I can't do the impression. That's fucking amazing. That's one of the best impressions I've ever That's heard. Crazy. But he, he, um, <laughs> one time I played in a celebrity softball game with. Norm and Tracy Morgan down, down in like Florida or something and uh, we played the Jacksonville Jaguars football team. They were kicking the living shit out of us. We were winning like 15 to nothing. And the whole crowd were Jacksonville Jaguar fans. So they were cheering, going crazy. They were so happy that, uh, you know, we were getting our ass kicked. So I get the ball from the outfield. I throw it to Tracy Morgan, who's uh, pitching. And he's got a real happy look on his face. And we're getting our ass kicked. And the crowd's all happy. And I go, what are you happy about? He goes, Artie, oh, man, this crowd is mortified. <laughs> They mortified, man. And he was happy that they, I don't know what What is this guy do now? He's, you know what? I just heard he just he's doing a show that Tina Fey wrote. It's oh, Alec, he's on that show, yeah. Alec Baldwin, Trace, oh, so and that, Tracy yeah. Morgan. That sitcom that they're doing about. Yeah, so it's gonna be on the fall. So hopefully it'll be big. So my what do you think his point was? Was he upset that you brought up the name Dave Chappelle? Is he was he jealous of Dave Chappelle's success? Is that why? Well, he, well you know it's really interesting because that night when I saw him in front of the Hyatt, he was saying shit that didn't make any sense. I said, Tracy, how you been? He goes, How I been? How, look at my car. See that car right there? That's my car from Punk. <laughs> Did you see Punk? And I go, yeah, I saw Punk. He goes, yeah, that's my call. They're going to be like, there go Dave Ch there go Tracy on 3rd Street. There go Tracy on, you know how they say that about Dave Chappelle? There go Dave Chappelle on 3rd Street. I was looking going, what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> no, he doesn't no make any sense. Yeah. yeah. yeah he, just and to... he was beginning to get into a little trouble. There were a couple of page six stories about him being a little inebriated and not quite there and a couple of traffic mishaps yeah, in I, that car. I remember seeing him at, uh, I heard about, I, I opened up for, uh, I was opening up for Chappelle at, at Caroline's and uh, Tracy, uh, I had heard he had a crazy party uh, the weekend before. And I saw him, and I go, hey, I heard about your party. I heard it was pretty crazy. He goes, man, you got to come down. It's crazy. All <laughs> kinds of shit happening. Mm -hmm, yeah. And I go, oh, yes. And he goes, yeah. He goes, tell your boy. Tell your boy. Come down. And I was like, who the Who's fuck is your boy? I, I don't even know boy. if he, he recognizes my face. doesn't know from where. And I go, yeah. And at the end of the night, he, go, he gets thrown out of the bar for starting a fight with a customer in the bar. And, uh, and then he goes, hey, come here. Yay! And I'm trying to avoid his look because I, I don't know if he's going to try to start a fight with me, too. So I'm looking around and he goes, hey! And I'm not looking at him. Hey! And I just, yeah! Come here! And I walk down and go, hey, what's going on? And he goes, hey, I'm having a party up the road. Tell your boy, Dave Chappelle. And I was like, oh, all right, cool. So I walked over to Chappelle in the desert and I go, Dave, Tracy invited us to a party. And he goes, that was cool. Wait. Tracy Morgan? That dude's fucking crazy. Watch out for that dude. <laughs> <laughs> he's got like, uh, when he got Saturday Night Live, he was living like a block from Yankee Stadium. He's like, he's from the South Bronx. He's got like a bunch of kids. And oh, really? So he really needed the gig. And I, um, feel like, I feel like when people get Saturday Night Live, they think their lives are going to change and it doesn't always work out for them. Most people, it doesn't, actually. Yeah. Like, you know, there's the yeah. few Sandlers where it really does, you know. <laughs> Even the people who succeed on the show say that it's a nightmare right. to work there. Well, yeah. I mean, I, I think they get the job there, and they expect like they're going to be in movies. You're going to be Bill Murray, superstardom. Right. Yeah, you know. yeah, like that first cast, almost everybody broke out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, except for uh, what's that uh, black dude's name? Garrett Morris. Garrett, Garrett Morris yeah. and uh, Lorraine Newman. Nothing ever happened for either one. Lorraine Newman. <laughs> yeah, she didn't. You never heard from her again. But, but Tracy else. Morgan had a sitcom. He had his own show. Yeah. With Tracy Morgan for like the Tracy a, Morgan show. Like, That's crazy. Nowadays, show business, you can have your own show and people forget you. Like, mm -hmm. like you get your own show on for a year on network TV and then And you're nothing. Yeah, people don't remember who you are. Who is this? Uh -huh. Tracy Morgan's here. Tracy used to be on Saturday Night Live. Now he's on that TV show sixty no, thir 30 Rock. 30 Rock. 60, 30 Rock. rock. No. There he is. <laughs> 30. He's very funny. That's on Tracy show. Morgan right there. That's the guy. Hello. 
He's totally. He looks like a man walking to his death. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> he looks very. I'm um, excited. Oh, oh, that's I'm excitement. Excited I'm a big okay. fan. Tracy's right. a big fan. He. Uh, me, and my little son, me and my son watch this show every day, all day. Is that right? Yeah, I'm well, excited. But you were sitting out there, and I was like, "Geez, he looks a little nervous what, on or edge? scared." Why? Yeah. No, I'm just a black man. <laughs> yeah, come on, a black man in a room full of white people. It's and always. I'm used edge. to it. Right. Seven years of SNL, I'm good. Was it weird being like the black? guy on uh, SNL. No, nah, I loved it, man. I had the advantage, man. You know, I was a soul on the show, you know what I'm saying? Well, well, whenever somebody... I didn't have to write nothing, man. All I had to do was show up, baby. <laughs> but when someone... <laughs> Let them play everything black. <laughs> I didn't have to write nothing, man. Being a black dude on Saturday Night Live is the spot. For you, it was a miracle, right? I mean, you grew up in the poorest of neighborhoods. Yeah, Brooklyn. Nah, I grew up right across the street from Jay-Z. No, wait. And Mark Breland and everybody came out of my project. You had a horrible childhood. <laughs> Mark really the boxer? I, my, you know, I had love. We had love. We didn't have money, but no. it wasn't horrible. Oh, wait a second. I had, a, I had parents. I had grandparents. I had uncles. You Your father, a, though, wasn't around, right? Nah, my dad my dad went to Vietnam. Vietnam screwed him yeah. up. Yeah. So, you know, we come from that generation. Vietnam screwed him up. Being on the other side of the planet at 17. Yeah. Fighting enemies you couldn't see. Then they, then they bring you back with no counseling. Did your so, dad talk to you about Vietnam? Did he say to you, listen, always, this fucked always, me up, man. Yeah, this is always, crazy. Always, always. Shot dope. Yeah, you know, shot heroin over there. Picked up some bad habits. Yes. Came back. Gave my mom a couple of kids. Yeah. She had to kick him out. And then took off. Yeah. Yeah. But, you know, all of that stuff turns into this, you know? No, but wait a second. That's, that, that had to be sad That's for you. That's the end of the story. And your dad died at a young age, right? Yeah, yeah. 36. 36 man. years old. Did he die of AIDS? Died of AIDS. AIDs. Because he of heroin? Away. Yeah. Yeah, he was caught up to him. The needle, caught up to yeah, him. The but, but he gave us what he had to do. He did what he had to do with us before he passed on. He was at peace when he left. Yeah, and it's a tough neighborhood. You got into fights, no? I mean, yeah, you had a what? fight. I dropped a couple of people, man. Did you really? Are you good with your <laughs> yeah, fists? But, but, but yeah, I'm good with my fists, but I didn't have to fight much, man. I'm a lover, not a fighter. And you have that crazy reputation. Everyone talks about, oh, Tracy Morgan, he'll show up at a comedy club. Did you vomit on some guys at a comedy no. club? No. I think that was at a no. restaurant. Was that at a restaurant? You vomit no, on some no, people? No, I didn't vomit on Come nobody. On. You, you, Wild man. <laughs> yeah, I like the party, you know. Yeah. What it was that I went to a club. My boy had a um, he had a uh, what do you bachelor party right. over at Suede. Mm -hmm. And I didn't eat before I went over there. I, rookie move. I'm a professional drinker. That is a rookie move. Yeah, it was a right. rookie move. You right, know what I'm right, saying? Right. And I started <laughs> drinking and. I threw up in the club and they put it all in a post and page six. But I'm taking power back now. I love you for that, Howard. Who, uh, Thanks for bringing it up. No man. problem. Who 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 are your friends? You have a lot of celebrity friends now. Now that you've made it in the business, I mean, you're a big star. Now. What do you say? You know, Star Jones. How do you? Your I don't friends? hang out with these people. I you have don't my hang own out with star friends. Jones? I don't hang out with no celebrities, man. Really? I'm down to earth. My friends are regular. My Someone friends told are me working Mike class. Mike Tyson. Mike Tyson. Those are, those are people that I know and I speak to, but I don't. I, you know, as far as friends. Friends. Who are your no, friends? No, my friends still work a nine to five. Leroy, Knox. Are they El jealous of your money and your success? Didn't you move out of the neighborhood to a nice Jewish neighborhood? As yeah. soon as you made some money, you took your kids really and you got them all out. Yeah, but my friends, are they hang out with me and they go on the road with me and they get a paycheck from me. So. What is it like when your ghetto friends show up in Riverdale at your... That don't happen. <laughs> that doesn't That's not happen. Because you're afraid they I might... I meet them at the club, man. Yeah, right. You don't bring like them Like Eddie Murphy house. said in Trading Places, who's been putting that they fucking cools on my floor? <laughs> and and I'm not having that? nobody putting out this Who has been putting that cools out of my floor? No, that ain't happening. No, nah, you don't bring the friends No, nah, I got a wife and kids, man, so... How your oldest kid. You started oldest, pretty early. Yeah, you know, in the ghetto, man, we use sex as a sedative, you know? <laughs> Are you it's upset? the pain of poverty, so I was fucking early. Wow. Are you upset that you got married so young? You married, what, a high school sweetheart? Yeah, Sabina. How, how, Sabina, how 17. old? 17. 17 years old you got married. Yeah, I was dropping it like it was hot, man. Is she the only girl you ever been with? I was fucking with? when I was like 12, man. Really? With Sabina? Nah, not with no. Bina. But what, know. at 17, you meet your wife. <laughs> And did you, you didn't stop fucking other women after that, did you? <laughs> no, nah, I feel my wild oats. She waited for me. Yeah, she did. Yeah, she, you said that, look, baby, I'm on Saturday Night Live. No, no, you know? no. Saturday Night Live came later down the road, man. Well, wait a second, though. You cheated on your wife, though, right? Because, I mean, you didn't stop at 17 having sex with her. Did I cheat on my wife? Yes. You when got married first, at 17. No, nah, we met at 17. Oh, you met at we 17. Met at How old 17. were you when you got married? I was, when we, when we tied it out, I was about. 25. That's a young man. Yeah, I know. You know, I mean. It was sweet, though. I got a good woman, man. Yeah. It's sweet. You know what I mean? White woman but if he started woman? having black. sex at black. 12. Black she's woman? still sweet, yeah. But you love white women.
I love all women, man. Yeah. I'm like, pun, let's get that straight. I regulate every shade of that, baby. I don't give a fuck. I'm nasty. Yeah. 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 But if he got married... I like the at... nappy dugout, and I like the coleslaw. All right. All right. right. Me twisted. too. I stick my tongue in the chick ass with the quickness. I love it all. Yeah, don't put it in my face, You're not God putting your tongue in anybody's I love you out, man. You got the hang, baby. We got to go up to Sue's Rendezvous. I would love it. Do you ever do you ever toss a chick salad when you go that far? Yeah, you put absolutely. Your you put a tongue up a yes. girl's ass. That's it's what he's saying. in my motherfucking mouth. I'm really? Yeah. Would you let a girl take a dump on you? No. Nah, that you ain't have it. That's ridiculous. Nah, 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 would you that. pee I, on a girl? Nah. You would not pee on a girl? I don't like the kinky shit like that. Right. I'm kinky, but nah. I ain't you just like sex. Yeah. You never took a dump yeah, on a girl? Yeah, oh my God. I love the way y'all smell down there and everything. Oh, really? Yeah. Feet and toes. I like to come in the house, and I tell my wife, when you hear them keys jingling at the door, I want you standing way at the end of the hallway with your panties down and your butt cheeks like this. <laughs> and what do you mean? So open them up, man. You see butt anything? holes and toes, Artie. <laughs> I love me some butt holes and toes. And when you I see, like to, I like to send a woman to the hair salon and let her get bangs in her hair. They come in her hair. Oh, come in her bangs. Come in her bangs. They like it's not like sperm and bangs, baby. Oh, you, are you saying? I'm light headed from laughing. That really? was good. Would your Will your wife answer the door, literally bent over with My her wife, panties pulled yeah, down, yeah. and you'll just come over and put your penis right inside her? Uh, right. You see her toes. That's my baby girl. What do you do to her feet? What do you like to I do? Lick them all of that, man. You but know, they got to be done. I know a oh, brother. They gotta be nice and pretty. I'm a I know, freak. I know another brother who loves feet. Who? Uh, King All Blacks. He loves feet. Yeah, his man. Whole I'm thing, a bandit, man. man. I'm a bandit. I don't get that. Like, like you want to suck them and, and smell yeah, them. Come on, and, dude. That's man. freaking toes. That's female feet. I wonder what that's Crazy? about. Did you ever like? like do you think that comes from your youth? Like, nah, I ain't got nothing to do with my youth. It come with me watching all that porn. <laughs> porn. I got. I love to see the woman when you got the legs up on the shoulders and the legs, the feet dangling. Yeah, yeah. yeah I like that too. Yeah. I do. I like that. Pretty yeah, toes. I, I don't want no. I don't want nothing decrepit. But give me your history here. So you, you met this girl Sabine at seventeen. Yeah. You start to have kids with her and everything. Yeah. But then you have a period of time that you stray from Sabina and you were able to have sex with other women. Yeah, I was women. young, man. About between 18, 19, 20, man. You know, I was out there doing my thing. You know, it wasn't right. nothing crazy. I wasn't, you know, fucking on my wife or nothing. But, you know, females hollered at you. And right. I'm a young guy. Right. What is cheating? Young? Cheating. Uh, let me see. Let me. How do I define cheating? <laughs> It's not a blowjob, it's a blowjob Is a blowjob cheating? <laughs> cheating is when, I think cheating is when your heart goes to another person. Oh, you know, then you didn't cool. do anything. Oh, then you didn't do anything wrong. <laughs> when your heart goes to somebody else. I agree with that. My heart was at, always home. You know, I never got lost on the way to grandma's house. You right, know? you were always a faithful yeah, in your I, mind. You loved yeah, her. I can't always. say I was always devoted, but right. I'm dedicated. <laughs> I ain't never turned my back on my family. Is it hard I, to be a comedian who's Cheating made to it? me is when you just, when you, like, cheating to me is like when you, like my father cheated on my mother. Right. Because he chose heroin over her. Uh, right, 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 right. That's right. what I did. That's heroin what. was his lady. Yeah. That's right. What about um, uh, making it as a big star? I mean, you, you've really made it. Everyone knows your name. You're on a hit TV show. You got a lot going on here. There are broads coming on to you all the time. It's got to be tough. It's got to be tough to be a family man and to have that kind of activity around you. I'm grown now, man. I'm are 37 you? years. I'll be 38 next week, man. So I ain't, I ain't into that shit no more. I'm, really? I'm already locked and loaded with my family, man. I'm established already, man. It's good. You know what's out there. After a while, you know what's out there. I've been around for a minute. You can get tempted. But you know to go home. Yeah, I look. You know what I'm saying? I look at the menu, but I ain't got to order, man. I go home. I wipe the pussy still good. Right. Yeah, she you still, still rocks. She still rocks. You still go uh, on the road and do comedy? Yeah, when I feel it. like it. I got some bread now. So, you know, all I, I, that's, you know, that's money that if I want to do it, you know? Well, what about all the cats you work with on Saturday Night Live? Are they, uh, they, do they turn their back on you? or did you, No, everybody's still cool. Everyone's still I don't see everybody. With Tina everybody's with Tina Fey. Everybody's right, right. Yeah. Everybody Tina still Faye cool. Lauren Michael's still my dude. Yeah. He's still Obi-Wan Kenobi. He's there when I need him. How does a guy who's growing up in the projects get on Saturday Night Live. Explain to me how that How do we adjust? How did we no, make how did it? How did that happen? I mean, here you are, you were a comic. What, what even made you think you could go up on stage and be funny? How did you end up doing that? My balls, man. My balls, man. You know, I'm third generation entertainer. I've been funny my whole life and then I have people around me, the people, the same people around me now going, yo, you should do comedy. Wait a second. You should Hold do comedy. That's where I met Jim Brewer and everybody, man, do at the Uptown Comedy Club right there in Harlem. But it was on Fox TV. It was right there. Do you remember what you used to do? I mean, when you first went up there, you probably didn't know what the hell to do, right? Did you just funny? I had a, I had seven minutes of material right off the bat. 
Right off the bat, seven minutes of material. That killed. Started off in high school. What you do? Uh, you did impre- you do impressions. You do no it. impressions. You don't do any impressions. Uh, just just characters that I created. I had one character called Biscuit. Yeah. He was like the little boy inside of me that had a chip on his shoulder because his dad wasn't there. Right. And he wanted to beat everybody up, and it was funny. Right. His name was Biscuit. Biscuit. It worked in a black community, but when I tried it on Saturday Night Live, it was wah, wah, wah. So who, uh, who, who discovered you from Saturday Night Live? How do they hear about... I had the brown brothers brown the brown brothers they were executive producers of uptown comedy club uptown uptown yeah. and they gave me a shot and they and as a matter of fact chris rock was uh his he missed his flight and they came to me and said you want to get on tv and i said yeah and i had seven minutes and they put me on tv and you were and voila. right away and, voila. Who, and these brothers saw you these two kevin guys kevin and andre and they said to you we want you to audition for lorne michaels no they wanted me, they put me on Uptown Comedy Club. And I did Uptown Comedy Club for two years. Then that got canceled on Fox. Okay. Then, but before that got canceled, I did Def Jam when Martin Lawrence was hosted. Right. Good so friend Martin, yours? Yeah. I love Martin. He's my OG. He's crazy. He's a role model. That's my dude. That's my dude. That's it's crazy, dude. though, right? No. Nah, Martin ain't crazy. No. They say you're crazy. They say that yeah, you're... How would you yeah, ask Tracy? <laughs> you said infamous. Jesus Christ was crazy. I don't care. They say you're said. infamous for not showing up. Like, the people always say, oh, we don't even know if Tracy will show up today. Because no, they Tracy's don't say there. that about me. No, I've you, always been on time. I'm good with you that. You always show up. Yeah. Yeah. So no, they, say I'm crazy cause were... they say I'm crazy because I took my shirt off. I take my shirt off in clubs when my music, when my song comes on. Well, you and... lost your driver's license, right? No. You didn't get a DWI and... Yeah, but, and? And? <laughs> I didn't lose my license. Why would he lose his license? they take your license when you get No, that. that's L.A., you know. That's what they do out there. They stop you. They watch you come out of the club. I was doing karaoke with my wife. Uh-huh. That, you think it's because it's you're a black man that you keep an extra no, eye on No, I'm you? not the poster boy for that stuff. No, I, I don't think so. No, I, got, I guess I got stopped, and uh, they said I had too much liquor, and... Right. They took me in. That's but they it. didn't take my license. Oh, that's good. And, and, and this bling you're wearing, I mean, that's got to be very expensive. Some chain. It's sparkling yeah. all over the place. No doubt, man. This is uh You've made a lot of money, Part of my well living. Yeah, you've made a lot of money. Saturday Night Live, though, is not such a great place to make money, though, yeah, right? Yeah, but you, because that's a, that's a, you know. It's a jumping stuff. ground. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Into that stuff. Right. You know, I can't complain. You know? On your TV show now, do they give you a lot of money? On I this, get some uh, bread. You do. I make more than anybody ever knew in my generation. That's right. That's right. You know? Yeah. When you get when you start making money like Howard, now that's some that's paper. That's real money. That's some that's paper. Right. Yeah. Hey, don't that's forget. lawsuit money right there. <laughs> that's right. That's, that's lawsuit right. money right there, baby. Big bucks, baby. Got Word up, man. Word. You my idol. This is all freedom to me. Thank you. Thank you showed you. it to me. You are asking me all these crazy questions. No, and I got you right in front of you and Robin. This is all the whole blueprint is right here. How long you been listening to the show? How long have you been a fan of the about uh, ten about ten years. No kidding. Over ten years. Go ahead. Know that since you jumped off, since you jumped off on the radio. You know who tells me you're the greatest guest ever is uh, Jimmy Kimmel. He thinks you're about the best there is. Jimmy, go do him next week. Yeah, yeah, he, he loves you. It's my brother. You know, yeah. we had yeah. Tracy on the loose. show before yeah. Tracy came on the show because Craig Gast used to do. Yeah, he's making a living. Yeah, that dude's yeah. making a living. He does an impression. <laughs> he's making a living, but is it, is it precise? I mean, is this dude just. It's, saying it's, it's, me and it's very good. It's very funny when he does you. You know, my voice, I got an accent on my New York accent. And you are a real brother. I mean, you're not some guy who grew up in some suburb. You mean somewhere. like Tim Meadows or something like that? Yeah, I mean, you're like a real brother. <laughs> yeah. Now, what I about st- Eddie Murphy? Did he ever, like, he started on Saturday Night Live. He was the black guy on Saturday Night Live. Did he ever embrace you? Did he ever come yeah. to you and say, man, you're doing good? Yeah. Yeah, he did. I, I met Ed, you know? Yeah. I did, love Ed. Did he have you up to his house, Bubble Hill, the, the mansion? Charlie, I hung out with Charlie up there. Charlie and and Vern, other brothers, right. but I met Elliot. I met Eddie in L.A. You did. And how yeah. was he to you? How, what was that like? He was, was real cool, man. He was real friendly, man. He just said, you know, keep doing what you're doing. You know, you where you at because you're funny. Right. Bottom line. That, he, that was the advice he gave you. Bottom line, just stay funny. Right. Whatever you do, do not lose your sense of humor about nothing. And what is your you life money? Like you get a divorce. Keep your sense of humor. <laughs> yeah. He got a divorce, all right. Yeah. He's, uh, he's going through that it's now. Still funny, too. And why would he go out and knock up uh, one of the Spice Girls the second he gets divorced? He's back in the same boat again, isn't he? Because he's yeah, that she's sweet. Yeah, she's probably he, good to on. him. That's insane. That's insane. What is you know? he doing? What is he's what is? What would you do? You would just lean back feeling. for a little while. Well, I would have sex, but I wouldn't have to get some girl pregnant and get into a whole a whole uh, situation again. He has a bunch of young kids. He's right. a family man. That's he, a problem. He's got too many damn. 
families. That's his problem. <laughs> That's like me. I'm a family man. How many know? kids do you have? I have three. You have three children. Now, your yeah, oldest and all is three like of them are capable of making somebody pregnant, too. All right. Really? Your oldest yeah. is 18? No, 21. The 21? middle. 21? Yeah. Now, what wow. about these kids? Are they going to go to college? Did you ever get to go to college? You one, no, I never went to college. Will these kids get to go to college? Yeah, one is in FRT now. Oh, I see. The middle is getting ready to go to NYU. Right. The baby is a producer. He's making beats. Oh really? Yeah, and, I just and went to took him to Sam Ash. He got he has like a whole a full studio in his room. Sound studio and everything and, in his room. And no outside children outside the marriage? No. You never had got into any of no that? No way. No way. No way. No way. Look at I'm you. only with Sabina, man. Look at you with Sabina. I'm only with Sabina. This Sabina dick right here. Yeah. <laughs> this big dick. This big dick. Dina, this is your dick. What are the In odds? spite of what you might hear, what you might see a page dick. This is your dick. <laughs> <laughs> this is your dick, Elaine. God damn it. All right, Sabina. Oh, my God. My wife, she's short. Got the nice booty. We roll, we roll nice, no, nice titty, but big Oriellas. Wow. We role play like a motherfucker, too. <laughs> I just <laughs> bought her a Girl Scout suit. No really? kidding. Told her to go outside, knock on the door, and try to sell me some cookies. I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna answer the door in my boxes. Is that true? My dick right on the side. Wow. <laughs> yeah, and we play rape sometimes. You play do. Rape? Yeah, we play go? rape. She go upstairs, she put on her little Victoria's Secret with no right. panties, go right. upstairs in the bathroom and act like she's doing her hair. Right. Then I go put my criminal shit on. Yeah. What is that entail? Ski entails? mask and everything. Oh. Glove, flashlight. It starts off as a home invasion. Wow. And the kids, where are they doing all in the bedroom sleep. And you my oldest son is in the room beating his dick watching my porn. I know because his room smell like socks and bust off. <laughs> his room smell like socks and bust off, Artie. See, that's how you don't cheat. You, you gotta go be blind. creative. Like, you, you don't know. cheat. Yeah. You know, like, yeah. I sit with my eyes, man. And, I mean, in, and then you grab her from behind, throw her on the yeah, bed and rape her. Oh, yeah, and do you say my... dirty shit to her when yeah, you're doing it? My is she screaming is. and crying yeah, and like, don't rape me? Yeah, then it's over. Then we got another one. What's the other I don't get into any of that. Yeah, I, yeah, I mean, this is, like, this is do. Me uh, in do. Me wow, you're so do. creative. You gotta be, man. You gotta keep it going, man. The first thing that goes, the first Play thing that goes, though. And yeah. the Girl Scout cookie fantasy mm -hmm. is you answer the door. Robin, you are so pretty over there. Oh, Sexy thank chocolate. You. Go over and play rape with Robin. <laughs> mm, Robin, come on. Robin to put it on me, man. <laughs> Robin, you have a role play? Seriously. Role play? No, I don't have time for it. You know what? Actually, I did that with my girlfriend, the Girl Scout cookie thing, but I really wanted the cookie. You got the I, just, I took the cookies and I had to fuck her. <laughs> you got it all wrong, yeah, Artie. Problem, Robin, let Tracy see your feet. My mm, feet? I know yeah, they come on. Put them Yo, up. Rob, come on with that, man. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> mature woman. That's what I love about it. The maturity. When you get older, you know. You don't mind a woman getting that's older. That's what turns me on is the maturity. Really? Man. really? Mature women. How old is your wife now? My woman is like in her 41. Wow. Yeah, but mean, she's so mature about all of this shit, man. Yeah. I mean, some young girl couldn't deal with this shit. I'm rock and roll, man. Yeah. Would you shave? Fucking her, rock and roll. Does she shave a whole bush off and everything? Oh, uh, no. No, you don't You don't I go like for that. I like bush. You like a bush? Yeah, I like bush. Wow. I like mature women. I like stretch marks. I like cellulite. I love all. That. No, you don't. Yes, I do. You gotta be kidding. I love it. Does she have a lot of say? She can have four good toes in that last token. <laughs> that welfare was dog nail on it. I love me some welfare pussy. Welfare pussy. I love pussy. the thick, I love the th thick C section scar. <laughs> really? I, I love you. a C section. I, I like battle wounds, goddammit. I'm from the ghetto. Nah, you don't. You Put like some a spam man. on her ass. What are you talking Put about? Put some spam on her. I'm there. not buying this for a minute. I'm telling you how. Nah, come on. I'm telling you, man, I'm a beast. You're real ghetto. You've been shot, right? No. You haven't been shot? No way. Nobody shot him. No, I was into sports. Him. I was into sports. Were I you? never went to gang banging and stuff like Nothing that. Nothing like that. Huh? No, football? I was into sports. Football. Sports and my uncle, my uncle, they, every, they all kept me into sports and, 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 you know, that kept me away from all the bad guys. And what about your brothers and sisters? No, we're all good kids. All good kids. My mother, yeah, my father. None of us, no jailbirds, none of that shit. And you know, I've been locked up a few times, though. Yeah. Oh, you have? Yeah, I've been locked up. I've been through the system. I'm from the ghetto. Come Where, on. What were you locked up for? Uh, running around when I'm young, trying to be a fledgling drug dealer. That oh, yeah. Oh, did you deal? Yeah. Yeah, I deal. Yeah, what you know, what I were you get... dealing? Coke, heroin. Crack. Crack? crack. Oh, you yeah. were a crack dealer. I yeah. bet you were good at it. I mean, I bet you... No, I wasn't. You were not. I like, sold like two cracks in my whole life. Wow. <laughs> Where, they caught them, you? Yeah, my uncle punched the shit out of me in my face, man. That's not you, brother. Where do you sell crack? Out of character. Like, did you have a corner? And did you, and were you hooked up with like... Neighborhood. A, uh, you were hooked up with a big dealer? In the neighborhood. I mean, you, you're there. 
and you see everybody around you just getting all this money. This is in the early 80s right. when crack was king. Right. And everybody was friggin' selling. Yeah. You know, and, and you, you don't want to be left out. You don't want to be the bummy dude. You right. don't want everybody laughing at you. So right. I tried it. And so it didn't work. And I thank God. Why did you stop? You mean you got caught on the No, second? my wife. She said, look, you got to stop. Yeah, this. I was 17. She said, you're an asshole. You're going to ruin your life. <laughs> yeah, you're an asshole. Thank God you listened. Yeah, man. She got my dick off the corner, man. Wow. You wow. know? What about uh, pimping? You ever do any of that? None of that stuff. That shit is corny. Ever fuck man. a whore? I'm not take, huh? You ever have a whore? Yeah, I experienced that. You did. That you paid for it? That, yeah. Surprise. Now, well, how much did you That was before I met my woman, though. Yeah. How yeah. did? How much did you bucks. pay? Thirty bucks. Thirty and bucks. And what did you Sixteen get? years old. My uncle took me over on Forty Second Street. You know, when the deuce was the deuce. Uh -huh. Yeah. And. You know, in the car, get me laid for my you know graduation. Oh, Thirty is that bucks. Right? That was a graduation. Yeah. I didn't know what I was banger. doing. I was just humping. Thirty bucks, you could bang her. Yeah. Wow. And your uncle did that. Yeah. As That's a cool graduation uncle. That was present. my uncle. Yeah. And how was Got me it? Laid. Was it was it a good looking woman? For thirty bucks, she probably was a snack or two. Yeah. No, she was a, she was blonde headed. Yeah. A lot of makeup. All right. I stuck it in like six times. Didn't take Bing, it boom, out. boom, boom, that's yeah. it. Yeah. I was scared. Yeah. You I'm didn't bad. really. Yeah, I was into football. I didn't care about girls. Come on. 16. <laughs> nice C-section scar on that one? Yeah. yeah. I love C-section. You're not kidding, are you? Oh, you're a freak. <laughs> yeah, man. You're a freak. Tell me about the, the um, Girl Scout cookie scenario. In other words, for real, you, your wife has a, a, a Have Girl Scout. Have you used Scout. the outfit yet? You got yeah. it. You just got it. Yeah. And, and she knocks on the door and she goes, uh, Mister, do you want to buy some French brownies? R for real. You use the voice of that yeah. bitch. And then you go. And, then I, and I look out the door and I look and I go. Yeah, come on in there. I'm going to buy a couple of boxes from you. Wow. And I got the boxes with the big erection and everything. It's oh, my that's fantasy. Great. That's great. Good for you, <laughs> my man. My fantasy. No dialogue, no nothing. You ever take dirty no videos thing. of your wife? No way. Why? Because I'm for not. For the two of you. I mean, no for your way. own pleasure. No. You won't do it. Mm -mm. I don't like to look back. Tell me about Saturday Night Live. Do you get nervous before you have to go on? It's got to be a little nerve wracking. I, right? I didn't. I didn't say nerve. I wouldn't say nervous. Excited. I said excited. Excited. Yeah. yeah I would be nervous. Dom, huh? I did it, it once. Tracy Moore. I know. And and I was nervous. I didn't feel good it's about it. It's live television, baby. Yeah, it was like really. I don't know. I just. Didn't but it's like a it. rush, man. It's like going from zero to a thousand. Before yeah. you know it, Howard, you were saying good night. Yeah, Before you know it, it, you were saying good night. Once we start rolling, once that train pulls out, you got your makeup and your hair, and they grabbing you. And you, you I mean, you 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 didn't even have time to be nervous. I man. I want you to be there honest. There's two minutes in between each, you know, right. come on. But wait a second. I want you to be honest with me. Did you get along with everyone at Saturday Night Live? Yeah, I was cool. I was cool with everybody. Everyone? I was there cool. There was nobody with, you didn't like. I was cool with everybody, man. Now, how come you were booked on the Jimmy Brewer radio show three times you still haven't shown up? What's going on with that? It's just, it's just scheduling. You know, it's just scheduling. scheduling being, at, being over at uh, Teen of 30 Rock now. Okay. And then, you know, when Jimmy would book me before 30 Rock, I was on the road. I didn't have a TV show. I see. I had to make money. Right, right. So, you know, the time that I di wasn't on the road, I was with my wife and my kids. When's the I first time you banged a white woman? First time I banged a oh, I remember. She was from D.C., too. It was before I met Sabine. I was working over at um, the Empire State Building. Her name was Dana. Mm, Dana? Oh, I met her. Her name was Dana. Oh, did she live? She was from Washington. You sure? Not Jersey? Dana, not yeah. from Jersey. Not from Jersey. <laughs> Why don't we all just calm down? <laughs> just before I met my wife, man. No kidding. I had my own crib because my aunt, my aunt was getting high off crack, so I had her pad in East New York. Nice. And I was paying like $30 rent. And Thirty dollars rent, and I, I was working. This is just. I was, this is the only time I ever felt bachelorism. Go ahead. Just before I met my wife, I was seventeen. <laughs> just before I met her, and it was sweet. I had my own crib. My cousin Love was living with me. He had the other room, and we met these chicks. We, we were selling sneakers at the Complete Athlete at um, Empire State Building, and they walked in. And they liked you. Yeah, we got down for our crown. And you said, hey, why don't you come by my bachelor's The first pad? time I always saw, I, I, I saw some pink vagina. Wow. Was it crazy? Pink, yeah. yeah, blonde head. Oh, my God. Wow. And she was like, she was so mature. She knew what she was doing. And she would make noise. Right. No one never did that before for you. That's why we watch pornos, because those chicks are theatrical. Oh, it's I great. need to hear it. Yeah. Oh, I don't care. Yeah. yeah I need yeah. to hear that. Yes. <laughs> East New York, toughest, worst neighborhood in New York. Hey, you know what? I want. I've always wanted to see Go ahead. The, the episode that you did with the lady with the big labias. Oh, okay. the big pussy oh. lips. I don't remember that one. What? The one with the big pussy lips. Well, you, well, you big ones. Didn't you still have? But they, I blurred it out. 
I could get you a copy of that. I need to see that. Sure, I'll get it. I just got to remember who the hell that was. Who yeah, the pussy was? this out, though, Hal. Yeah. We about to, we, I just pitched this idea to Tina Fey yesterday. Go ahead. Tina Fey seems to be some sort of we genius. We want to do a uh, episode where we we find out that Beetlejuice is my father. Oh, that oh, is oh, fun. Oh. Will you do it or not? Or she, was she open right, to it? Going, yes. I would watch that. That'll be hilarious. Really? That would be good. We find out that Beetlejuice <laughs> is my father. <laughs> and Robin, we're going to do another episode where Robin is six months pregnant by me. Oh, I like <laughs> that. <laughs> and Robin, if you was my woman, I'm not wearing no rubber. <laughs> I'm going mm-hmm. straight booger and sugar with it. I'm going booger and sugar. You hate wearing rubbers? That's what we say in the ghetto. Do you hate wearing rubbers? I never had to. I only, I only bang my wife. Nah, come on. I'm only banging my wife. No one believes that. I'm only banging my wife. Who is the biggest pain in the ass celebrity on Saturday Night Live? I'm talking yeah, about the, the host. Star. Come on. Tom Green. Tom, Tom Green. Green yeah, we didn't horrible? like each other. You didn't like each other. We didn't like each other, man. What you happened? Just doing jackass shit. I mean, you're such a nice guy. You're just doing jackass shit. With, you know, if you don't want to do a skit, don't have me stay up two, a whole fucking night and write it. And then you come down and we're doing a cue card thing. And my, you know, when you do the cue cards, right. my words were brown. Uh-huh. His is green. Uh-huh. Right. He started reading my fucking. You know, he, he thought that was funny. Right. Right. Fucking right. dude. Yeah. You mean during the sketch for real? During the sketch, it? man. He started so reading your lines. I stopped reading. And I went and I grabbed the fucking cue card and I brought it back off camera and said, dude, these are your fucking lines and this is mine. That was right on live TV. Right on live TV. Oh, that's great. So, you know, I came up, I came up when Norm McDonald was there, you know. Yeah. You love and, Norm. And, and, yeah, Norm, he taught, Norm taught me. And I came with Colin Quinn and yeah. Norm Jake was very Jim impressed. Brewer. Norm was you know? impressed with uh, Tracy, right, Artie? I mean, oh yeah, were... Norm, Norm loves Tracy. Just yeah. me being able to survive. What know? did What did Norm always say about Tracy? He said, "Damn man, that Tracy Morgan man, he's funny. He, he's like a real black guy." <laughs> so he never said? had nothing like me in A H. <laughs> no. <laughs> That's what he said. Come on, I got. I, yeah. I, be, I, 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 you know, came up on Saturday Night Live, and I could tell you when, Howard. I could tell you when, Robin. All right. Uh, it's hard. To emerge on that show Absolutely. now, now they cut back. There's only ten cast members. Right. But when I was there, it was like sixteen. Yeah. And you had Norm and you had Will. So for me to get fucking airtime was, you know, was tedious sometimes. How do you get airtime? You have to write your own sketch. I told Lauren Michaels to get me a soda, bitch. You did. <laughs> you said to Lauren Michaels, "Get me a soda, bitch." That's how he got noticed. And America went. What? <laughs> that's how. That's how you got. That's when attention. I emerged. That's when you emerged. When I did that Brave sketch. Man. When I did that sketch. Yeah. Oh, and that's you right. You were like backstage and backstage, you, yeah, yeah. I remember that. Yeah. Did you? Did you write that? I wrote that. Yeah. I the, wrote a lot. Of a lot that. of the job is you got to write something funny and well, then you get. Well, for on. me, it was wasn't a, the writing wasn't. But I knew I was going to score on Saturday Night Live through performance. Yeah. I stopped using my computer the first year. I had gerbils and shit in my shit. <laughs> right. I said, let me just perform. You right. know. Yeah. Let me get off on perform. Because I started writing and I just couldn't deal with the rejection. Right, it's you know, hard. I would write and you get you know, up in front of the whole group and pitch yeah, a sketch, and they, they wouldn't get my sense my sense of humor. So no. I would just perform in front of the writers, different like black fellows and characters, and then they would write it up. Yes, all right, that's a good way to work. Yeah, so and, that and was my said, method. And you started to do impressions on Saturday Night Live. You did yeah, Cuba but Goody I didn't like Junior. doing impressions. But, but you that did wasn't Cuba Goody Junior. Yeah, you but did I didn't Oprah. like that. You were Oprah. That was easy though. Is anybody could do impressions? You did Mike Tyson. When you do personal characters. That you like Brian Fellows and Astronaut Jones, that's the real talent. Creating characters. When you create them, them characters. Mike Tyson is. Can you do a Mike Tyson? I think, you? I think Mike, Mike. But anybody can do Mike. You know? That's I not do Mike. I can do Mike. I can do Mike. I can do Mike. You know? <laughs> I can do Mike. You know, I can do that. <laughs> So it's a tough, it's a tough gig Saturday Night Live. You really have to work all week. And you have to write. You have to. In the get beginning, the pitch it was ideas. tough. In the beginning, it was tough. And it's hard to live under the shadow of Will Ferrell, and and, and emerge under the. Under no, but when we were there, our crew, we everybody was getting off. Yeah. Uh-huh. I think this crew now it might be a little tough to fill those shoes. That's right. All right. That's right. This crew now, I'm not there. I haven't been there. In, Has uh, a celebrity woman ever hit on you? Have you had famous women? Yeah, say, I've had a couple. You have. Come at me. Is that You'd the be best? Surprise. No shit. You'd be surprised. Why I teabag? You'd be surprised. Why I teabag? You'd be surprised. Give me his name, bro. No, brother. Give me. No. Name. Come on. One. Now wait till the book come out. Give me one fucking. Name. Wait till the Howard, what am I going to do? Right when now. my career is over, Come what am I going to do? Come on, I have to say, Juicy. Did you ever have sex with a Saturday Night Live guest host? No. Tell the truth. No. What about your Drew Barrymore? Mates? I kissed a couple. Drew Barrymore? But that was in sketches. Did you have Drew Barrymore? No. 
Jane Fonda? I kissed, I kissed Kate Hudson, but that, I, was doing, I was doing tongue, a sketch. I was doing a sketch. Tongue kiss? No, I was doing a sketch. Beautiful though. girl, right? Yeah, I kissed Britney Spears when I was doing a sketch. Nice. Oh, but did you Woodrow. fuck? Woodrow. Who'd you fuck? I'm not telling on, you, my brother, friend. Please, man. This would be the best thing to do. Book to come out. Can't you give me one name? No, see? This is how it, right here. Look, no. this is how it does to you. Come on, man. <laughs> swing Gally. This is Swing Gally. Come on. Come on. I'm not man, being I'm an kiss asshole. Tell, man, I'm a pro, bro. Lindsay what Lohan? is going on on the set of Saturday Night Live? Is anybody having Hardy, sex? Hardy, I got a gift for you. What is it? 18 years old. Straight from Harlem. <laughs> Butthole. Smell the finger. There you go. Butthole. Butthole. Jeez, I couldn't, huh? No, but really, what's going on? Are people having sex while that show? Going on I don't know. Nobody's invited me. Oh, Nobody's invited me. No, but this is you accidental. It's coke and ball. I guess so. I don't know. When you met, you let Artie smell your finger. People died on that show. <laughs> you just let Artie smell asshole on your finger. Butthole. From butthole. Butthole. Who is it? It was straight from Harlem. Is that Tina Fey's asshole? No. Come on, be honest. Uh, no, man. Was Artie you just smelled Tina, Tina Fey's asshole. My girl, it's man. Like, it's a good girl, It's not like Alec Baldwin. Alec Baldwin's asshole? You never had gay sex. You get along with Alec Baldwin? No, you never go that way. There's no gay when you were young, up and down. when you were a young man, anybody six ever, o'clock, did, baby. did anybody ever try? Six thirty, I six fifteen. Anybody try to rape you or have molest you in the ghetto? <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> Never happened to you? No. <laughs> no, <laughs> you fuck man. a girl in her ass? No, huh? Will you have a girl in her ass? Yeah. You will. You Absolutely. Would do it. You in will. a heartbeat. Anal. Yeah. That's hardcore. Stop my dick right in the female ass with, with no remorse. Right. <laughs> and I'm banging it hard. Yeah. Because she deserves it. Do you like that better? Huh? Do you like it better? No. Nah. If it go down, it go down. All right. You do that with your you wife? Go down. Huh? You do that with your wife? I'm not telling, man. All right. That's fair enough. Well, let me ask you something, though. Your uncle took you for graduation to a prostitute. Would you do that for your children? Are you doing that for your boys? You getting your boys laid? Nah. Nah, no, of course no? not. No? That's not the right my head up. It that's screwed my head up. Yeah, of course. I do comedy. <laughs> I mean, it's well, I'm crazy. a comedian. <laughs> you know how fucked up I am in the head? Let's go over I'll to... I'll fuck Chewbacca in the eyes. <laughs> Mike, you're on the air. <laughs> you're, not, you're, not, you're not that particular, right? I'm going hard on Chewbacca. <laughs> <laughs> coming all on his fur. You would fuck Chewbacca and come I'll on his fur? I'll fuck Darth Vader. <laughs> right in his love, ass. You love all women. Darth Vader got gout in his right leg. He got gout. You love all women. Yeah. Anna Nicole Smith, you attracted to Come on, to you know how powerful the pussy is? It's so powerful. Come on, Yoko Ono broke up the band. <laughs> <laughs> she had this true. motherfucker John Lennon go, Paul who, Ringo what? That's true. That's Fuck true. rehearsal. <laughs> I'm laying naked with this Chinese chick. Let my duck sauce sack, motherfucker. <laughs> she broke up the motherfucking band. Broke up the band. She still get hate mail from baby boomers. <laughs> <laughs> still get hate mail. Fucking hate mail, this little Chinese shit. <laughs> Let's Yoko go. motherfucking oh no. <laughs> Yoko, Yoko Ono. Fuck John Ringo who? Oh what? You would have fucked Yoko Ono. What? Just, yeah. I would have got head guckle, 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 guckle. <laughs> <laughs> she can do whatever she wants. Oh, All she got to do is gag. She I love when a woman gag. Get that. Hey, you know what my MO is? <laughs> what? I got to make the mascara run. Right. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> you like those you know, pornos where the woman is gagging on the penis? <laughs> and she take it out and got the long spit chain. Yeah, yeah, you like that. I love that. I don't like that. The long spit chain? I'm a like freak. That. You ain't a freak like me, Howard. I like, that turns I me like off. when a woman throw up on my dick. You do. Throw up. What you have for lunch today? Um, Roast beef, huh? Has that happened to you? Call me the ass, yeah. Do you force the woman's head yeah, down into your penis? Yeah, she can take it. Women love that Are you big? Shit. Are you have a I'm big huge. penis? You're huge. My head is bulbous. Really? <laughs> Tell you like a Darth Vader helmet. How many inches are you? On a good day, about nine. Did you actually measure? Do you measure from your balls or you measure from the shaft? No, from the um, base of the shaft. The base of the, the shaft, head. underneath, to the head. And you're saying yeah. you're nine inches. No, no, I'm getting And when I'm you're with a woman, you will force her head into the, into the, all the easy, way. Take easy, all nine inches. easy, easy. Easy. There you go, there you go, there you go, there you go. I coach. Yeah. I'm Coach Carter when it come to that. And you tell me women... I'm Coach Reeves, the white shadow, the black shadow. And women have uh, have vomited? <laughs> <laughs> Call me bad. <laughs> Pork and beans and fights. Everything. <laughs> gyro, everything. Gyro. Oh, gyro. gyro. <laughs> I don't know a geeho. I never everything. know everything goes. <laughs> wow. Franks with mustard, sour, clout, and onions. You are a freak, man. Dirtbag. Man. And Shit after like they that. vomit, you keep going. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Wow. 
And you say you and your wife still want to try to have another baby? Oh, uh, me and my wife been going hard. You've yeah. had enough of that. Yeah, I want a daughter. Really? Yeah, I'm obsessed. I got three boys. I need a girl. Well, I need to complete son, my though. legacy. Mm. I need to complete my legacy. <laughs> no. I got legacy here, baby. I'm trying to have more kids than Sean Kemp. Really? I'm going to start a double Dutch team. What? I'm going to start a double Dutch team called the Imperials. <laughs> what do you do? You Since you're such a, a coxman, have you ever experienced smelly pussy? Like, what do you do when a woman smells? Stink pussy? Yeah. You get mad, but yeah. you don't stop. <laughs> you keep going. No guys take it out. You be mad as a motherfucker, but you be like, you know what? But what if you catch it and you smell it? it? No. No. Uh -uh. Don't go down there, man. Uh -uh. Mm -mm. No. But you know, I don't, I, I, I don't run into those stink pussy. Mm hmm. Man. That, you know when the pussy good, though. When you see that discharge. Yeah. You know, when you see that cream. <laughs> uh, when you put your dick in and make that fart sound. <laughs> That made, that made the pussy singing to you. Yeah. That, that's the pussy singing. That is nice. Pussy, you know what the pussy be singing? What? The pussy starts singing, I see trees of green, <laughs> red roses too, <laughs> skies that are blue. That's the good pussy. Tina right Fey have good feet? Yeah, Tina Fey's beautiful from beautiful. her toes. She's yeah, a pretty she girl. I, like I, I don't see her feet. I mean, that's her, her that's husband. Her thing. You, you yeah. treat her with much respect. Yeah. I can see that. Yeah, you don't want to talk to her. I'm, I'm very, I'm very, my, my, I respect women, my moms and my sisters. I'm just fucking with you, but, you know. Yeah, I know. Well, yeah, you're a man. You that's my like side. Yeah, this yeah, is the good. appropriate place to get loose. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> I would tell you. You can't get shocked. loose on the Stern Show. Where are you going to get loose? I'm shocked you really like a woman to vomit on your penis. I'm a little surprised by that. I really am. I mean, that would turn me off. Have you really had that? Have you Yeah, have you really? You've never had that. Oh, you, <laughs> you can see it anywhere, man. Let me ask you a question. Will Ferrell, who you work with, mm -hmm. he, he kissed a man on com on camera for comedy. Would you ever kiss a man on camera for comedy? See, that's what separates me and Will. Will is fearless, man. I, yeah, I, I nah, think there, there, there's a border with me. Nah, I don't know. think you're going to do that. Yeah, Will don't have three boys. You know, I got nah. three boys. I can't explain that to them. Martin, know, Lawrence, like, Martin Lawrence said, you listen, I need you to make out with me and I'm filmed. Oh, no. my goodness. Yeah. No. <laughs> I don't think Martin would say that. No, I don't but, think that's no, what But you got to understand, <laughs> I played a transvestite in Longest Yard, man. You know why I respect you? When you were uh, punked by Ashton Kutcher, you almost punched him right in the fucking head. I right? wasn't having it. You see my gangster? Good for you. Uh, did you allow it to be aired here? Your punk? Yeah, you did. I allowed it. What did they do to you when you were on punk? They tried to they uh, put my 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 uh, Jaguar, pretty Jaguar, right? Yeah, pit, <laughs> pit mobile, pretty motherfucker. Yeah, that's called a candy car. Yeah, bitch got titties and all that. Yes. Now, they put it up on the motherfucking. <laughs> they put it up on the motherfucking. Um, oh, the back of a truck. Yeah, and then and I went the... inside the restaurant. I see that's and this is all Oh, that's yeah. what I'm saying. I, that's I, I took it. I took it for. I, I took it for real because in L.A. shit happens like that. These right. motherfuckers are crazy out there. Right. I come out. My shit. I validate. I know I validate my shit. Right. Next thing I see, my shit up on a tow truck. <laughs> then they roll the window down in the glass like that broke my glass. So I'm rolling out and I got my crew with me. Yeah. And one of my dudes, Fredro. He had the box cutter on him. I heard the box cutter zip. Yeah. I said, oh, shit, it's about to happen. Right. That <laughs> you trying great. to negotiate with me for my rims. Uh, I got on the phone, called my wife, and said, call my lawyer, because I'm getting ready to catch a body. Yeah. <laughs> my car is not going nowhere. They was talking about towing my fucking car from L.A. to Barstow, which is four hours. Oh. <laughs> now, one and one make two of my motherfuckers. So world. when the fuckhead comes out and says to you, well, you're being punked. Did they have to come out quickly? Yeah. That ain't funny. <laughs> That ain't funny. But I was glad it was punk, because only A-list get on punk. Right, well, that's true. All only right, well, you got a good point. Let me go to uh, Mike. Yo, by far, Tracy Morgan's been the funniest guy in SNL in years, Howard. Yes, Second Tracy. I would love to hear a black man roundtable with Paul Mooney, Tracy Morgan, maybe King of All. Wow. Well, maybe I could put that together. Would you like to be part I of that? I would love to be a part of yeah, that. Yeah, Paul Mooney was here the other day. He's a funny guy. Yeah, you know he's, he's a legend. Yeah, he's, he's a, a terrific guy. He's an, he's an icon. Yeah, Howard, you're on the air. Wow, this is funny. Tracy, you're funny with the Jaguar and the titties and the... Right on, baby. That's right. Uh, well, the, man's, the man's coming from a very real place. Tracy, you, uh, besides being funny, I mean, I'm not saying anything new, but you are very real. And Howard, you cannot do this kind of interview on, uh, you know, ballsy radio. No, bullshit radio is over with. Uh, I couldn't do my thing on regular radio. Yeah, we radio. wouldn't have been able to have Tracy on. <laughs> Uh, no, yeah, we, we, we couldn't even interview you. It I would be impossible. It, All right, yeah, thank you. You're making me piss. I love it. All right, thanks. Let's go to. Uh, there's so many people want to talk to you. If you uh, have the time, I would. I'm like with you, to... you, Howard. This is the this is the way I want to spend my morning today. All right, good. It's a great way. All right, go ahead, Tom. Hey, hey 
Hey, thanks very much. Two things. First off, why was there never a Brian Fellows movie? A what? What in the Brian hell is he Fellows saying? Brian Fellows is a character, Tracy, did on oh. uh, SNL, yeah, which is yeah. hilarious. They, Great they character. They did a Corky Romano movie. They did a... The, the two why guys. are you not getting any movie deals based on any of your characters, Brian Tracy? Fellows why are all these white the guys getting uh, deals on all of their characters? Explain that to me. Well, I, 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 mean, I have a thing. I, I've never seen Eddie Murphy do the Gumby movie, so right. I'm, I'm not yeah, trying to bring... That right there was for Saturday Night Live, and I had... This well, motherfucker have, isn't letting you talk. I have a lot more inside of me. I had a lot more characters inside of me. I, I, I know a million people, man, right. that I grew up with, uncles and all of that stuff. So, I, you know, you know I, what you I, need yeah, to I'm, do. yeah, I'm not You're, in the mood to write no movie. Let's go to oh, Ralph. Ralph wants to say hello to Tracy. Go ahead, Ralph, real quick. And uh, actually, it's Ralph Sorella, executive producer of Howard Stern's Camera Shot. All right, go ahead. Okay, um, you know, Tracy, you were like in the worst remake ever, uh, which was The Longest Yard. Like in a movie like that, do you you just take the money and run, or you read the script? Like, what's the deal? No, I didn't have Did to. Did you know it was going to be horrible going into it? What is that, Adam Sandler's Adam movie? Sandler's I never saw that movie. It's was it a bad, bad movie? I didn't think it was horrible. He's I thought funny. It was funny. Tracy's, Tracy's funny, in it. funny in it. Tracy, when you get in a movie like that, it's it doesn't matter. You because it's already, it's, a, it's already a legend. The, the first one was, you know, so right. you, we were just remaking it. And, and what you do is you do the best you can do yeah. and make sure that you're funny for I your I played a transvestite in it, man. Yeah. They gave me a camel toe, Howard. Uh-huh. I was scarred for life. You know, I love guys like Ralph. You're supposed to say no to Adam Sandler. You don't. You don't right, want to be in a huge right. studio Adam movie. Sandler come on, calls, I'm not past, right. I'm a comedian. I come from the clubs, man. I come from the bottom. I'm not giving up a shot to work with Burt Reynolds, Adam Sandler, Chris Rock. These are all my favorites. Of course, doing, you're gonna fucking take that movie, job. Of course, is doing a movie favorite. the most exciting thing in the world? Do they treat it. you like a million dollars? You're yeah, on the set. You're getting fed. You got a fucking couple of lines to memorize. Big deal. My, my, my trailer for Little Man that I just did with Keenan Ivory Wayne was a million dollars. A million my dollar trailer, trailer was a million dollars, man. So Do you, you know, I don't get this at home. Say, man, I came from nothing. My life is a dream, man. I come from Tompkins Projects. My middle name is Jamel. I know where I'm at. I know what I'm doing. I'm going forward. I got momentum right now. Right, you do have a lot of momentum. Yeah, I'm yeah. doing what I love to do. I'm not digging a ditch. No. Come on, I'm on the way here. I watch. I'm seeing a construction site. Guys were digging in a hole. Right. And they got to do that every day. Yes, people say that I'm crazy because I have an edge. I'm edgy. You right. know, you know what I once did to David Blaine? What? You remember the time he buried himself? Yeah. yeah. I was coming from Saturday Night Live one night, and he was right over here. Remember, it was about a Trump? Yeah. It was just construction site, and he was in there, and nobody was around. And I pulled off the highway because I thought he was a dick. <laughs> How you gonna bury yourself, motherfucker? <laughs> and I look down, and you can see down in them, and he's waving and shit. You know they had people, and it's like a tourist site, yeah. and nobody was looking. So I took them, I took out my dick, oh. and I peed right on his fucking grave. <laughs> Is that true? Yes. You pissed on David yes. Blaine's magic asshole. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you trying to live, and you want to bury yourself, you dick. Wow. I agree. That was bullshit. Is Remember that, that movie? I pissed on your grave. Yeah, you did I it. Pissed on you his grave. You did it, Tracy. You are. So Something else. You are cool a great stuff, guest, man. Jimmy Kimmel's right about you. You're a great guest. I love J.K. Man, that's yeah, my dude. That's a good man, right? I love doing Howard. I love doing this. This man. is beautiful. Oh, well, right on. Make us a regular stop when you got to do. Dude, uh, I will do your show anytime you want me to. All right. Well, we were going to call no you doubt. more times because it's a lot of fun to hear what's going on with you and uh, all your show business uh, activities. It's great. One day you got to tell me who the celebrity women is you fuck. When we hang out. No, 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 no. Tell no, me. No, when we hang out. It can't Stay come from my mouth. Tell me how it happened. When no, we don't hang tell out. Tell me who it you is. You take me to scores one day. Let me, okay. When you, when I do okay. scores with you. Yes. Because the last time I did it, they you're, charged me 7000 just to sit down. No, you're going to come with us. <laughs> I said, get the fuck out of here. I have four kids. You're going to. Don't make me make a phone call to Marcy <laughs> Projects, motherfucker. No, no, no. That's 7000 Just shut this motherfucker down. Yeah, exactly. That's they didn't charge you. They didn't charge you any more than they do anyone else. That's right. That's what it does. Listen to me. I said, I got to go to the strip clubs in the hood. <laughs> I deal with the fucking knife scars, fucking the C-section scars. God, I can't chicks. deal with these pretty blonde bitches with fake titties. These beautiful bitches. Fake titties. I feel like I'm at a Tupperware party. I'm man. bringing you with me. I like real titties, man. I'm bringing you with me. You don't I'm have going to with you, You're going with me to score. Tracy Morgan and Howard Stern. Howard Stern, Tracy Morgan hanging out. That's Why not? Cold I don't brush. care if you even vomit on me. You know who my dude is? Who? Bob Saget. 
That's your man? That's my dude. Good what do you cop, mean? bad cop. You hang out with Good him. Good cop, bad cop. He gets a lot of pussy, right? right? Yo, people don't know, man, when worlds collide, man. Right. When worlds collide, it can be destructive. Destructive. But what an awesome sight to behold. That's like when you see me with a white woman, mm. that's worlds colliding. That's it's destructive like people, a muffle. People still get mad at that, don't they? They, they don't like to see uh, yeah. a black man with a white woman. They still can't get used to it, these people. Yep. Not talking about me. We're talking about these other people. Right. You don't yeah. get upset. Pimping ain't you easy, but it sure is fun. You do whatever you have to do. Just tell me this scenario before you go. You meet a famous woman, all right? Probably on Saturday Night Live. Am I correct? At mm -hmm. least one of these scenarios. And you are a charming man. There's no question. In the bathroom. Where it happened? Yeah. In the bathroom. In she the bathroom. Over. You fucked she a celebrity. She over, pants and panties halfway down to her knees. Ass you... cheeks cracked. Gwyneth One, Paltrow? Two fing, two, no, I ain't telling you no name. Gwyneth Paltrow. Two fingers in the ass, banging the shit out of her pussy, and the, she couldn't take the dick. What do you mean couldn't and take I it? Was real fucking hard, too. You were fucking her hard. Nah, my dick was so fucking brolic. My arm, my dick looked like a baby arm. Wow. <laughs> that night I was Superman, man. You're telling me. But no kryptonite around. I'm not giving any names. Oh, my God. I put it in, and she said, oh, my God. You're telling and me. And you know what happened? What? She said the ultimate shit. She said, oh, my stomach. Wow. I went all out, Artie. She said the same thing. I never heard that. I said, is it your stomach? Is it your stomach? Is it your stomach? Then I took it out and bust all over her butt, her asshole. Oh, my. Wow. All over the asshole. Nice. And her asshole looked like a butt missing off a leather jacket <laughs> that Johnny Brasco wore. It's like a brown eye. Oh, man. Nice reference, Donnie Brasco. Wait a second, Tracy. What you're telling me is, and we're not using any names, you met a woman Killed on Saturday Night Live who was the celebrity guest host. You got her in the bathroom. How'd you get her in the bathroom? Like you got the said? after party. At the after party. Oh, at the club. Mm. You guys were kind of hitting it off all week, working together, doing sketches. It went down. She could see your brilliance. And you were it like, went down. And you were like, you're so great, I'm friends, Jen. Oh, my God. Right. And then you said, and then for some reason, she goes, just take me in the bathroom and fuck me, right? Or did you invite her into the bathroom? No, she followed me in. Sarah Michelle Gellar? No. No. And then wow, she follows you in. She was on the sink. Wow. Do you, do you think kissing? the other cast, do you think the other tongue... cast knew that something was going on? Nobody there? cared. Nobody gave a shit. No. What, what happens in Saturday Night Live stays in Saturday Night Live. I got some, I, I, I'm, I'm down with the Mile High Club too. Well, wait a second. Before you get to the Mile High Club, so you take her in the bathroom, you start making out. You bend her ass right over the sink. You pull her pants down. Mm hmm. You shove it in. <laughs> Rocked it. Rocked it. How long did you rock it? About 25 minutes, 20, 25, 25 minutes. minutes. How did banging. you hold it? Hurting out? her stomach banging. the whole time? It was banging. White woman? It was banging, yeah. No, get that. <laughs> yeah. Pretty. Very pretty. Pamela Anderson. Lips, lips like glass. Pam Anderson. Lips are wet. <laughs> Terry Hatcher. I ain't saying no names, out. <laughs> I'm not going to kiss and tell. And I was can't, she wearing I can't. heels <laughs> and miniskirt? Or pants. I can't remember if she had heels on. Is that a scene you replay in your mind a lot of times nah. when you're beating off? Nah, man. You so beat much... off a lot? Yeah. Yeah. And you, every you, day. Don't, you, don't re you, re you beat off every day? Every day, dude. I got some porn, man. Yeah. I got some sweet shit, too, man. Really? I got, I got, yeah, I got uh, Latin. I got um, big, wet butt Latins. <laughs> mm. Big, wet butt white women. Oh, that. my God. Grande culo, man. You, I'm telling you, I got, women could get well endowed, man. Yes. Women be thick. I'll be like, Jesus, if God made anything better than that, he keeping it for his motherfucking self. <laughs> and you're but telling man, me this girl, you pull in her pants. She and was like moaning and groaning and old school style, too. At first, she couldn't even shove it. You couldn't even get it in. It was in. tight. It was too tight. It was tight. She was a young girl, then. Yeah. No, no it wasn't. She wasn't. Young, no. I just think she's, 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 she's not, yeah, nice and, and she's bent over and you're putting it in and rocking her world. Once she, she got, says, once oh she got God, wet, hurts. then I started banging. I grabbed her by her waist and I started banging it. Oh, one I time it only happened. Yeah. That was it. Yeah. Do you think it was bad for her because she never went back to you? No, it was good. It was, it was cool. Just like, just two was ships like, passing in the night. Did she ever call you since? You ever no. run into her? No, Nothing. we don't know. That's we don't it. want to see each other. One time. That's it. Wow. We both had to reinvent ourselves after that. <laughs> yeah. It took, we had to reinvent married ourselves. Woman? Was she a married yeah. woman? Jennifer yes. Aniston. No, I ain't saying no names. That was, did you break but up? the time we both pulled our pants up, that time where you pulling your shit up, you have to reinvent yourself. Wow. Yeah, that how quick. Do you, how do you the get tools. Out? You have how to have the tools. You have to have the tools. Yeah. What do you mean you have, you have to have the that? tools? What do you mean you have to have the tools? The, before you go back out there and face everybody, you have to reinvent yourself. And you got to get yourself together. Yeah, yeah you, you can't go back out there like the guy who just did what he did. Tools. What do you mean reinvent yourself? Reinvent yourself. It's like, yo, man, pressure. I learned all of that, those tricks from being raised in the ghetto.
You have to be, be able to reinvent yourself in front of the district. In attorney. other words, pull yourself together. Don't yes. let Act on. Like nothing nothing happened. happened. Right. But people know something happened. You ever go to a, a company party and there's always that chick that gets totally wasted. But before the company party, she act like she was all that and mm -hmm. professional and corporate mm -hmm. and all that shit. Yes. And she gets to the party and gets that's told Robin. up. Fucking <laughs> drunk, pull a titty out. Yeah, that's and, Robin. And now, now between Friday and Monday, she, got to she has to rid of it. And it's we not had, enough time. We had so you like take that. that fucking walk of shame yes. Monday and laugh it off. Right. Shake it off. <laughs> Nobody cared. Was it Reese Witherspoon? Just be honest. I'm not going to say no name. I bet you it was. One day, me and you will find out. But I got. When I take you to scores, you going to tell me? Maybe it depends on how much I drink. Maria Shriver? I'm not going to say. <laughs> Maria? She was you pretty, were too, man. She pretty. Was pretty. <laughs> oh, she have a bush or she was shaved? Yeah, she had a bush. It was oh, pretty fucking lips hanging out. She had the bat mm. wings. Older than you? She had bat yeah. wings? No, younger. Wow. Young, she had bat wings. She had the coochie lips that hang out. <laughs> What'd you mean, Mile High Club? With a celebrity? Nah, a wait, uh, fucking stewardess. She saw you, hey, I love you on Saturday Night Live, blah, blah, oh blah. Oh my God, she was like 6'3. White woman, black woman? White woman. White woman. White six stewardess. 6'3, right Swedish? in the fucking bathroom. What airline? I think it was uh, United. United, look at and, you. But I, it took me two hours. The to friendly skies. It took me two hours. A lot of notes being passed back and forth. Hey, I love it you. Was it was strange. It was strange. Did she start and the she notes? She bent over and I seen a garter belt. And then, and then purple she, stockings in the bathroom. Took, yeah, in the Isn't bathroom. Is it too small in there? Nah, man. You work. You work. You, it's delicate. You do your shit. You don't wear a rubber. I was, huh? You didn't wear no rubber. No. But look at you. She sat. I sat on the toilet and she banged it. And how do you know she you're not gonna drip a little cum in there and get? I your don't baby? give a fuck. You don't oh. care. You'll give her a baby. Yeah, I could fucking have AIDS and then get hit by a bus when I leave here. You don't give a shit about it. I don't got no fucking AIDS, man. And what'd you do? You bust your nut right up? Well, how was she? <laughs> bust right in her. In her. But right, anyway, I know I got kids all over America. Oh, jeez. I'm a freak, baby. You don't think at this point with your kind of money, your women aren't going to announce to you they got a baby? They're looking Ain't at nobody together. step up yet. Wow. Do you realize what happened to Chris Rock? You better be careful. Yeah, I know. Yeah, hey, you better be careful. Patricia, I was crazy. born on a fucking edge, man. <laughs> Y'all know none of this shit is true, right? No, he's lying like that. Oh, a... I know it's true. I just lied. I love no, how I know it's true. It ain't how it you ain't. Didn't, but you didn't fuck a girl on Saturday Night Live. You didn't have sex on Saturday Night Live with a celebrity? Nah. You're lying. No, I didn't. I swear to God on the life of your children. All right. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Yeah, okay. uh -oh. Did you get caught? Dude. I'm caught now because I know my wife is listening to this shit. <laughs> See, I that's what I'm talking, thinking about. You got to recant because you have a wife. Claire right Danes. Was that Claire who it was? Claire Danes. I ain't saying no names, man. Claire Danes. Who knows? You're going to tell Sabina tonight. You might as well tell her. Yeah. Sabina? <laughs> Sabina's going to take you to court tonight. You know what? My wife stay away from all of it. Man. Does she? Yeah. She's not listening? She don't pick up the papers no more. And Good. That. Tell yeah, her to she, stay out of it. That's the only way to stay happy. Because they it fabricate shit, man. King of all, you're on the air. King of all blacks. Go ahead. Uh, oh, yo, what up, Tracy? What up, King? My nigga, my nigga, what's what? the deal? Ain't nothing you know me saying sweet like beer me, trying to make him slide down a mountain full of razor blades to a pool of alcohol, climb a building butt naked and tongue kiss lizards. I'll at your boy. You know yo, it. Yo, hey, listen, I, you said you want to have a little girl. <laughs> this how you have a little girl. When you ain't a pussy, right? Yeah. You got to jump out right after you nut. Wow. Don't linger, don't linger in there. Yo, my uncle cool. told me that. Don't go as deep is what he's saying, too. Not you got to jump out the pussy. Jump out. Right. You jump out. Oh, that's for another show. That's very clinical talk. I don't uh, like that. This is very crazy uh, talk. Hey, crazy. man, I make boys because I'm lazy in bed. I'm like my grandfather. My grandmother said that. Well, that's why I had all girls. I'm, I don't go very You're deep. You're not lazy. Uh, I'm not lazy and I can't go deep. <laughs> it takes a lot to knock the balls off, man. Listen to me. You are something else. You're honest. You can't clean about everything, and that's the way to be. I'm your boy, Howard. You're Always. Boy. You absolutely are. You're a great I, star. I don't, people, I, I'm Tracy Morgan. I'm just going to be who I'm. Let's you got to stay who thing. I am. Yeah, and it's explicit. Hey, I'm not pulling no strings on nothing. My father was honest with me. Uh -huh. Is your act very blue? Do you, do you say dirty words? Yeah, Cole, I just say it's true. Does Bill Cosby ever it's contact true. you? It's true. Whatever say... me and you talk about on this show right here, yeah. people do. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Anal sex exists. That shit existed think, since fucking the beginning of the time. What do you think of Bill Cosby who says you should incur? I don't you care. Bill Cosby ain't my motherfucking father. Right. Has he ever? He's never called you. No, he would never say nothing to me. Do I look like I can tolerate? Do I tolerate? You see, my that's why everybody got along with me on SNL. So if he look calls you up, features. he goes, uh, if he Low calls, tolerance. Yeah, I mean, you're a real brother. 
No tolerance. I'm not fucking having it. If you're not willing, you call if you're not willing to lose a rib or a finger, walk away. If Bill Cosby called you in a Tracy, uh, look, uh, you're you're a poor role model for young black children because you are using foul language and talking about pussy and all this shit. I want you to knock it off. What would you say to him? Sign me a check, motherfucker. Right. I walk away. That's exactly the right answer. Give me fifty million and I will walk away, Bill. We're not even gonna make this no process. I'll never curse again. Fifty Period. million. Yeah. Sign me fifty. I'm not even Pay doing show me. business no more. You're right. getting out of show business. I'm getting out. I'm gonna do like Flip Wilson, right. and I'm gonna go get a penal implant. Right. I saw that show. That's a great. The home girl says it looked like a mound of flesh. <laughs> what is it, Gary? I could extend the show by an hour right now. I'm looking at a list of every female co-host or host that. for the years of Tracy oh, Show, geez. and it's unbelievable. Uh, I mean, uh, uh, Kelly Ripper. Jessica Simpson. Right, I don't think he fucked Kelly, Kelly Ripper, but I think he might have fucked Jessica Simpson. Oh, yeah. Jennifer Aniston. I oh, here's one. Let me see this list, Gary. Here's one I like. Christina Aguilera. Gary, you know why you can't go by this list? Why? Look at all of these women, man. Yeah. I wasn't I wasn't a big star on Saturday Night Live. Yeah, but you got one. I ain't getting no pussy. Really? I ain't getting no pussy. Were you lying before? Uh-huh. Were you lying before? Yeah. No, you are. Swear I wasn't on no the big, life of your children. You got to be. Look at these women, Swear man. on the life of your children. I swear on the life of my children. That you were lying. I swear on the life of my children. I never had sex on my wife. He never cheated on his wife. Never had sex on my wife. I ain't said cheat. See, he's covering his ass. Now. I don't know what the uh, hell I don't know he's what saying. the fuck just happened. <laughs> All right, love we that. love you, Tracy. Right Thank you for coming in, and we'll be back right after these words. Oh, who this? Uh -huh. Tracy Morgan, who was just on our show, is a real funny comedian from Saturday Night Live. Just got busted for drunk driving again. I mm. know. Yeah. They so. took his license. Yeah. Well, that'll happen. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I can read you the article. It's real quick. I'll read you the one in the Daily News. It's shorter. But Tracy was just on the show. we got to have him back in here unless he goes to jail. Did we talk um, to him about drinking? I think he sort of played down that. Uh, comedian Tracy Morgan, the former Saturday Night Live star, now featured in the new sitcom 30 Rock, wasn't smiling when he was nabbed yesterday on a DWI charge. The Bronx native was stopped by cops on the Henry Hudson Parkway in an incident that could trigger jail time in California. Morgan, 38, was arrested. You know you're in trouble when you get arrested on the Henry Hudson Parkway here in New York and you're in trouble in California. <laughs> Morgan, 38, was arrested around 4.30 a.m. because his Cadillac Escalade was weaving back and forth into to the right and left lanes, said a spokesman for Manhattan District Attorney Robert Morgenthau. At the 28th Precinct Station House, the comic failed a breathalyzer test. Authorities said Morgan was released without bail after rejecting a plea deal that would have required him to serve five days community service, pay a $1,000 fine, and enroll in a drunken driving program. Court officials confiscated his driver's license and he left court without commenting. In Los Angeles in February, Morgan pleaded no contest to DWI and was sentenced to 36 months probation. So he's on probation. Yeah, officials there said he could face up to six months in jail there if the New York charges stick because he's breaking his probation in California. Oh, then maybe that's why he wouldn't take the plea deal because I'm like, why wouldn't you take the plea deal? Yeah, because it means going back to jail in yeah. California. Yeah, he's going to use up his card here, I guess. Hmm. Michael Richards had a comment about that after the arrest. He's a nigger! He's a nigger! A nigger is a nigger! <laughs> Uh, Tracy uh, Morgan prank call. Let me see what this one is, just to remember Tracy. Let's see if uh, this might maybe some relevance to the situation. Hello. Hey. Hello. What's up, baby? Uh, this allergy is driving me crazy. <laughs> God damn! I love when a woman gag. I can't hear you. <laughs> this is your dick. Call me back. God damn. <laughs> we put that together using Tracy's um <laughs> some some sound bites from Tracy's appearance here. Yeah. That's so great. Sal and Richard took Tracy gagging and called some woman and she started gagging. That was perfect. <laughs> Yeah. I gotta hear that again. Struck gold. Hello. Hey. Hello. What's up, baby? Uh, this allergy is driving me crazy. <laughs> God damn! I love when a woman gag. I can't hear you. This is your dick. 
called me David. God damn! <laughs> What's amazing about that? Is Call me back. It's the best bit Tracy Morgan ever did, and <laughs> Sal and Richard just took his voice from our show. It's great. It's funny as hell. Well, you know, they were playing some clip on the news I was listening to this morning where they said he played some character on um, Saturday Night Live who was a drunk. Yeah. That's right. No, not on Saturday Night Live. On his new show, 30 Rock, I guess he plays like a drunken com comedy actor. No, he had this character, Uncle Somebody. Oh, I see. Who was, you know, and he'd do bits, you know, uh, little skits on the show where he played the drunk. Yeah. What's this Tracy Morgan talking about Emmy speech on JD's page? What's that? Do you know? Tracy Morgan took. I hope you get nominated for an Emmy for this show. For if I get oh, oh, that's from Jimmy Kimmel. I know what that is. I'm not going to play that now. Jay Leno's been saying some weird shit on his show. Really? Yeah. Did you hear this? No. I always love finger fucking and sucking Chinese boys. <laughs> How did you do that? I love fucking Johnny Carson's putrid, rotted asshole. <laughs> Johnny Carson fucked my wife Mavis in the direct come. <laughs> you know how hard that is to put together? Yes. You got to get you got to get Jay Leno's talking book. And then, like, he doesn't say words like cock and stuff, so you gotta Right, wait. fucking cock, how do you get that? You gotta wait for him to say, like, cocktail, <laughs> and then Richard cuts it short in cock. <laughs> and fuck is like, I don't even, how do you get fuck, Richard? Even in his book, he won't drop an F-bomb every once no. in a while? No, he works clean. I think these are children's books. Yeah, these are from children's books, right? Isn't this from his children's book? No, oh, it's okay. his, uh, like, biography. Yeah, oh, he doesn't okay. say fuck, though, right? He actually does. He does. I was oh, surprised. He, he cusses, like, twice in the book. But I usually get it from, like, Fudge and Duck or something. Oh, yeah. yeah. When I was 14, before I had my driver's license, I sucked Wolfman Jack's huge. <laughs> and then he exploded on my face. <laughs> <laughs> he sucked off Wolfman Jack? Oh, I didn't and know he that. exploded in his face. That's big yeah. news. Big in radio. I'm the first white person to Mavis. Fuck you. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> I'm the fuck white person. Maybe just fuck. I love kissing Woody Allen and eating his asshole. <laughs> <laughs> That's a really good book. I gotta buy that. The Jay Leno book. It reveals a lot in that book. What else does he? Uh, uh, what about his sex with his father? Did he reveal that? <laughs> yeah. When I was a boy, I started squeezing my dad's cock so hard he shot a huge wad in his pants. <laughs> <laughs> well, what well, the end of the pam? <laughs> Didn't some gang of kids try to do something horrible to him? Yeah, he had a he had a run in. When I was a boy, a gang of seven kids fucked my dad and my wife Mavis. <laughs> a gang of seven boys fucked both of them. When he was young, <laughs> his future wife Mavis happened to be around. He got and, fucked. And then he was talking about his mother. Twice a month, Mom sucked my big wet cock. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Is that a wild life? Yeah. Who this? Cash app, dollar sign, milk, crate, marauder. Uh -huh. Venmo, at milk, crate, marauder. <laughs> you stupid bastard. I'm a death to cock, sucker.